Hey, what's going on everybody? This has been an off year for Power Rangers, but that doesn't mean we're going to stop talking about it. In this video, we're going to break down kind of what the future of the channel is and what we've been watching, and we're kind of going to give you a guide of what is dropping this year superhero movie and TV show-wise. Yes, there is no Power Rangers, but there are some pretty good substitutes. Let's break it down. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things ain't always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morph when it morph. I made a fake one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. It is your boy, Braz Dan Brosnan, in the building. Now, there isn't a lot to talk about today. Had a lot going on. Had some DJ meetings, getting ready for this wedding tomorrow. But I did want to come on in here and make a little video and talk about the hiatus and check in with you guys. As you see, we're still making Power Ranger content all the time. We're kicking out shorts. But the long videos have been slowing down just a little bit just because there is no big news we have been covering other shows though and this is the year that we talked about we're going to be talking about power rangers but also other things that are popping off because this is an eventful year as a superhero fan yes we love power rangers but we love superheroes too growing up i was the biggest power ranger fan but i love spider-man i love the x-men i love batman and this is a fun year for superheroes but it is what i would call an off year because it seems like some of the best things are on the smaller screen good example x-men 97 that was freaking awesome awesome this year we had the avatar the last airbender live action show i thought it was decent i thought it was a nice live adaption that was way better than the movie and then we have go go loser ranger coming out right now i hear it's 12 episodes episode one is out now on hulu and disney plus i believe there are some things going on that are kind of up the power rangers alley i mean if you like power rangers you're really gonna like go go loser ranger because there's a lot of things that are similar but yet different the story's completely different there are dragon keepers that are kind of like power rangers but go check that out x-men 97 has been phenomenal so far those first five episodes are amazing and episode five was a doozy if you haven't yet go check out those episodes or go check out our reviews man that is a wild ride now this year we have some super hero movies but it's just not the same compared to other years so first of all we have the justice league crisis on infinite earth part two animated movie for the tomorrow verse that comes out april 23rd that's gonna be cool that's uh the part two to the first one that came out in january i believe the biggest movie i think coming out this year is probably going to be deadpool versus wolverine that drops july 26 2024 we'll probably talk about it give you a review give you a short i don't know what to think of craven the hunter i am so sick of spider-man villain movies without spider-man but i watched the trailer and it looks decent i don't know what to think about this but the morbius trailer really didn't look awful either so we'll see what happens with that then we have the joker 2 coming out i'm interested in it i don't know if that's going to be any good but i'm definitely interested then we got venom 3 and coming out in november and i don't really know what to think of the venom movies at this point i thought after venom one you would get a spider-man in the second one no so here's the third one if there's no spider-man in this it's just it's unreal how you gonna make three venom movies without spider-man you almost have to have some type of spidey in this movie correct speaking of spidey 
I think at the end of the year, now that's TBD right now, but I'm pretty sure maybe in December, we're going to get a Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. I'm hoping we get that before the year is up because that gives us something to talk about. And the Spider-Verse movies have just been really freaking awesome. The first one was amazing. Second one was a pretty good follow-up movie. The first one was slightly better, but still a very quality sequel. I can't can't wait to see this third one do they wrap it up do they go into another storyline at the end i'm wondering what they do with this is this like a trilogy do they keep it going oh man i'm excited to be a superhero fan and you know we're naming all this stuff off and there's no Power Rangers to talk about. So with that being said, we're going to make a lot of fun Power Rangers content with shorts. And anytime we get news, anytime we hear anything, we'll give you some fan theories. We love talking to the fans. But just letting you guys know that even if you're like, dang, this year kind of sucks. We don't have Power Rangers. There's a lot of other good superhero shows that are even out right now, man. Go check everything out and decide for yourself if you like it and i really got to emphasize that because x-men 97 according to the internet was going to be trash and that was a masterpiece to me i absolutely loved that project and so happy that i at least hit play man they've done an amazing job and we still have five episodes left we're gonna talk about that every step of the way we're gonna talk about go go loser ranger we're gonna keep up with with everything Power Rangers news wise but as you guys know there's not much to talk about so we do have to change it up but also talk about things that you Ranger fans would be interested in so let us know your thoughts in the comments I gotta shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content you are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this one thank you guys so much and we will see you next time peace I just want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members out there. The Arctic Operator, Roderick Ham, Papillon Purple, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Stephen Heffelman, Chaos Draco, Thomas Franco, Anime King Nick, Louis Cairns, Miguel Ortiz, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. I just want to shout out all of the fans out there for taking the time out of their day to watch this content. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you can, please like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that share button. And if you guys want to be a member, click that join button right now. We have a Bloom Ranger membership that gets you into the exclusive fan chat discord then we have the gold ranger membership it gets you into the fan chat but you also get a video shout out at the end of every video i want to thank you guys again if you can sign up to be a member we will see you next time peace hi hi we're bulk and skull we, we are been been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say, say something funny, funny.